And I think it's gonna be different this time. Coco is gonna be more excited than stressed by the match. And that's a key because you're gonna have stress anyway in a match like that. But if it's a positive stress, you can play a great match and, and play better than usual. If it's too much, if it's a negative stress, then it's gonna be like the match of the US Open because it was a very big match in the US with Coco, with Naomi, who was the winner of the year before in the biggest, biggest stadium in the world. And uh, I think that Coco emotionally couldn't handle the match really well and uh, ended up by being uh, very nervous and very defensive. And on the other side, uh, Naomi played an incredible level. So the match was really unbalanced. So I think this time it's going to be different. And I think she'll be able to play and to express her tennis, be more aggressive and then cause more problems to Naomi. So first of all, Coco is a better player. Uh, she's still 15, but she improves incredibly fast. She's serving better. She's even more consistent on both sides and trusts her backhand cross even more. And second, she has more experience. I mean, I, I know it's strange to say that for someone who's only 15, but you know, she's done a lot already. <laughs> Uh, played uh, on most of the big stadiums, uh, beat uh, two times uh, one of her idols, Venus Williams. In most of the matches for women's tennis, serve and return, because how you enter the point makes a big difference. You can either dictate or let the other one dictate, and Coco will have to dictate as much as possible. So the first shot will be extremely important. And in the rallies, uh, it's important for Coco to uh, refuse to step back. She can have the tendency to rely a lot on her footwork and defensive shots because she's, she's amazing at defense, but she will have to, as much as possible, pass from defense to offense. I think that will be the case.